In this lesson, we're going to start to add some content to your website. Uh, but before we do that, right, we need to add some products first to your store. So let's go to the back end. Uh, you want to go over to components, easy store. And let's start it first with some categories. So let's go to categories. And we can add some click here. You can always change this too. Okay. So I'm going to call this uh, t shirts. T shirts. And then you can put whatever description, put description here. Now it's saying set up your store. We've already set up the store. You know, we don't have to worry about this for now. We can come back later on. Uh, the primary, the parent category, we don't have any parent categories for this. We want this to be public access. So we've done that. Let's click on this drop down. We're going to click on save and new. Now let's create another one for women. Women one. And we can change that later on. And let's click on this drop down, click on save and new. We're going to call this one women two. Same thing again, save and new. And then we're going to call this one women three. And then we we'll click on save and close. So now we've created, you know, three different categories. I mean, four different categories. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can still count. So we have four different categories now. Again, you can rename this to anything that you want it to be. So next, let's go over to products. Now we're going to start to populate this with the product. So let's go to create a new product. And we're going to come here. Before we put the name for it, I want to grab the images. So I'm going to click on add image. And I am going to start off first with this one. So this one right here. I'm just going to, you can add multiple images at the same time. So I'm going to add those three to start off with upload. Okay. So now we have our three images and I'm going to call this one, one women shirt, women, um, tops. We can change that later on. And then for the category, I'm going to connect this one to women one. Okay. So women one, that's what that's connected to. I don't have any start or end date, and I'm going to set this to a price of $97. Do I want any discounts? I don't want any discounts yet. So next, we want to do is want to add product options. So we can put in sizes. So let's say you're offering something that has small, medium, and large. So we're going to call this as sizes, okay? And I'm going to call this one small, medium, large. And then Excel and I click apply. So now we have the sizes had another option here. Let's say you're selling something have different colors. So let's put colors. So I'm going to call this one gray, blue, red, and orange. So to change the colors for this, I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to put that in the blue. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get this. I'm going to grab a red. Same thing. I'm going to get this. I'm going to grab an orange. And I'm going to get this one. Well, those colors are good for now. I'm going to click on apply. So now we've created uh, this particular item so people can purchase this item, you know, small, medium, and large. Okay. So now we have that. And women's top, you can put in a description here if you want to. Okay, just something like that. I don't really have any tags that I want to connect this to yet. This doesn't have any pounds or weight or feet. So I'm going to click on save. So when you click on save, something happens now. Again, the way that you add this product is how you're going to add the rest of them. So once you click on save, if you scroll to the very bottom, you notice that you've activated the gray, small gray, small red. So what this is saying is it gives you the ability to price each color. So if you charge a different color for gray, for blue, 
you know, if you've ever shopped online, you notice that certain colors, they charge you more um, for a specific color, whether it's blue, whether it's red. So if you're going to be charging extra for those colors, then you can put that price here. So let me just demonstrate. So I'm going to put in this one at the gray at just five. I'll put the blue at 10 and I'll put the red at 20 and I'll put the orange at 50. So anyone that wants to purchase the red version of this is going to cost them $50 for that red version. Okay. Is it in stock or is it out of stock? So I'm going to leave this as all being in stock. Now let's go over to the medium section here. And I'm just going to follow the same thing. I'll leave this, let's say, 5, same thing, 10, 20, and then 50. And you can kind of go through here and kind of play with the numbers yourself. Another thing, too, you can do is you can associate the picture of this gray um, with this price in here. So what that means is I can click on this and I can connect a different color to this. I'm going to just grab a, an image here for you just to show you. Uh, I'm going to grab this one, even though it's not pert pertaining to that. So I'm going to connect that gray with that. I'm going to click on done. So once they select the gray, they can be able to see what that gray looks like. And you see how that look in the, you know, on the front in just a minute. So you can continue selling out of stock items if you want to track it. You can continue selling out of items being released. Sometimes some stores do that. You know, items get released and, it, you know, once they're out of stock, they want to keep selling those items. So this is up to you. OK, but I'm going to check that out for now. So once you do that, it shows you inventory. So if you want to track an inventory, this is where you can put unless you have 50 of these. You have five of these, whatever number that is, you just put the, you know, the right number for that. And this helps to to manage your store. Um, as you're growing so I'm gonna come for now and I'm gonna click on save so we've added that product now if you want to add the data this is more a little more advanced maybe you have specifications that you want for this but we're not gonna worry about that right now the goal of it is we want to get you up and going and you can always modify later so once you're done you can click on save and close. So now we've successfully created women's tops, right? So let's go over to the category so we can change women's tops now that we have a name for it from women one to women tops. So we'll stay consistent, save and close. So now we have women's tops. Now let's go over to the t-shirt, add product. And then we're gonna call this one add new. And then we're going to call this one T-shirts, men T-shirts. So we're going to put description here, T-shirts, da, da, da. The parent for this one is going to be T-shirts. You can have an unlimited number of categories, OK? Now let's add some images for this. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab these right here, upload it. And I can drag this around too if I want it to be in a specific order. I can kind of move them around. So I'm going to move that right there. So now the price for this one is $45. I can add a discounted price of $25, right? So we'll fix all that stuff later on. So now it's 30 the sale price. So the discount, how that works is you can have a percentage or you can ha have an amount. So if I put in a percentage for it, it's going to charge 25% off. If I put in a dollar amount, it's going to charge a dollar amount. That's okay. It's up to you to choose. I'm just going to leave it at the 25% for now. And then if I wanted to add, uh, let's say I wanted to add some more product options, I can do that here. I'm going to call this small um, sizes. Same thing as we did before, small, and we have medium, we have large, and then we have extra large. Click apply. Next, you want to go over to the colors. We want to have these different colors. So we'll call this one colors. We'll call this one black and blue, and then we'll call this white. And I'm just going to change the colors for these like that. Go to the next one, change this to the blue. 
and go to the final one change this one to the white and then I'm going to click on apply so this particular product now will have the white the green I mean the white uh, the blue and the black so you want to track the inventory again that's up to you so let's click on save so we can activate the other features that we saw before so again if you wanted to add a price based on the colors you can do that here as well but for this one I'm going to leave everything as it is and I'm going to um, just add this black connect that to that and then just connect this one to this white you can add as many images as you need to so this looks solid and let's go and click on save and new so when you click on save and new you can add more products so go ahead and do that and then we'll come back at the end when we've added all the products and then we'll move on to the next section so we just finished adding all the product this is what it looks like you should have added your own and next we want to be able to connect these products to the shop page